Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Welcome to Digital Campfire, my name is Tom and today we're going to be starting, well obviously, Total War Troy. Uh, we're going to be starting a new campaign and if you haven't watched my intro video, um, you should go and watch that before this if you are interested in a bit of context about the series. Um, if you're not bothered about that, then welcome. We're going to be playing as Achilles today, which I explained in the intro video. And we're actually going to be using the um, Radius mod for this campaign. Because we're also going to be playing a mythical, uh, mythological campaign. The, one, the last thing I kind of want to say is, as regards to the Radius mod, I don't actually know everything that it impacts. I did read the patch notes briefly, but... Um, I think it just balances a bunch of stuff, so we'll, we'll find out what better way to, to find out than to just um, play. So, yeah, I think we should just jump right in. Are we mere playthings of the gods? Or do we plead divine influence to justify our foolish choices? You've risked the safety of Troy. Troy is my home now. You have my oath, brother. She will be returned to you. Brother, I can fight. Go. Seek shelter. There'll be plenty of fighting ahead. Helen's flight was a grave wound to Achaean pride. King Menelaus will have his revenge. And his brother will have his war with Troy, just as the gods intended. Oh, swift-footed Achilles, there is only one response to Queen Helen's abduction. And that is war. Brother, your foolish passion has doomed us. King Agamemnon of high-walled Mycenae must avenge this insult to his brother. You are the ultimate warrior, king of Thea, and commander of the Myrmidons. Glory in battle is my god-given fate. Your ally, King Lycomedes, rules the Isle of Skiros. As a boy, you were sheltered in Lycomedes' court on your father's command. Now you must protect the old king in turn. Heed both threats from enemies like the Elopeans, and opportunities that come your way through friends such as prosperous King Oelius and his son Ajax the Lesser. The independent Thessalians could be a bulwark for your western flank. Keep your courage, lion-hearted Achilles, for you know well that fortune favors the bold. Okay, and we are right in. We've already discussed this. Uh, okay, and we've got a mission straight off the bat, so... We need to defeat an army belonging to the following faction, the Elopians. Um, the treacherous Elopians face uh, have advanced with their forces, which now threaten your lands and the livelihood of your people. March out with your army and defeat them in battle. Armies are used to defend home cities, blah, 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 blah. So this is just our like, tutorial mission. Uh, so yeah, this is where we're located. We are in kind of the north of um, western Greece. Well, this would be Greece, whereas this is like Turkey. Um, it's not you know, known as Turkey in this time period, but that's what it becomes. And um, we're kind of in a bit of an isolated spot here compared to a lot of sort of what will be going on in central Greece. So a lot of the factions down here will be diplomatizing. Um, that's where Sparta is. That's where uh, my, my snare is. But we're up here. We're kind of doing our own thing. 
Uh, um, here we have Teleon, the uh, capital C. We have Alos or Alos, uh, and our enemies here across the river. Um, so in the intro, it was explained to us that um, Lycomedes, Lycomedes uh, they are our friends, and in the story of um, the Iliad. Uh, Achilles' mum, Thetis, hides him there because she doesn't want him to go to war. He actually dresses up as a dancer and is then found um, and is dragged back. And uh, he's actually found by Odysseus and um, the guy from Argos that I always forget the name of. Uh, and they basically call him out and they're like, bro, you're a good fighter. You need to, you need to help us out. So let's take stock of what we've got first of all. We've got our capital here. Um, as you can see, province capital, we have a region, and then this region is locked. Um, I'm kind of going to play this assuming you understand how uh, the, the basics of, of Total War games. They're not like super complicated, but um, I'll explain stuff as I go if, if I feel like it's necessary. Here we have our resources. Um, food is for units. Wood is wood and stone are for buildings. Bronze is also for units, but in some buildings, gold is for a bunch of stuff, but it's kind of um, comes later on. Uh, so let's take a look at we've got we've got our capital building here, our citadel. Um, we've got some boats down, so that's nice that we've got access to um, water. In fact, both our cities do. Uh, we've got a training camp. This will will this will allow us to hire soldiers. In fact, this is upgraded um, to a tier three. So we have renowned club warriors. We have Fithian spears and Fithian swordsmen as well. Um, ooh, those those spears are heavy, whereas the classic spearmen are only medium. Fifteen swordsmen are also, well, they're medium. Um, wow. Okay, so these are both going to be very very useful. Yeah. Okay, so fifteen swordsmen they do cost bronze, and we don't have a massive income of bronze at the moment, um, so we're not going to hire those yet. Uh, we've also got centaur planes, so we have access to mythical units right off the bat. We've got some centaurs. Um, though they are quite expensive to field, I think. Um, and then in Alos, or Alos, uh, we've got it's a forest town, so we'll be getting wood from that, which is decent. Um, yeah. Okay. What have we got? My now? reputation so endures. So we've got champions of Thea. I assume that's one of our strong units, and he's actually costing us bronze at the moment. Uh, Aegean runners. Light swordsmen, they'll be good for like flanking. Uh, we've got some spears, we've got some more flanking spears, we've got some more flanking spears. So these guys will be good on the flanks. Um, javelin men are really good at. They are ranged units, but they're not like super strong. Oh, well, no, they are super strong, sorry, but they don't have a super long range. And then we've got some Centaur Scouts. So we actually have some Cav as well. Um, I think we're going to want to. Recruit some units. Son of a goddess and a king. All right, Achilles, Jesus. Um, we're gonna want to recruit some guys to form um, sort of a line um, the, to the middle of our army, and pr I think spears will be best for that for now. All right, then. Let's. Oh, actually, change of plan. We're not gonna recruit these guys just yet because we're gonna want to attack this turn otherwise he'll retreat back into a salmon and i think that should be an easy battle i'll have to refuse uh, well we'll find Master out in fact before, before we do anything else i'm actually just going to go ahead and do that um so we'll jump right into a battle um which is not usually something i'd recommend in a campaign like this but honestly then we'll have a better idea of where we are positioned yeah let's do it bring their deaths Oh wow, look at the balance bar. Um, I probably would auto resolve this, but seeing as it's our first battle of the campaign, let's uh, let's play it. Let's get a feel for, for the units that we will be controlling. Okay, so we can wait out the fog, but seeing as we only have, um, seeing as we don't have many ranged units, sorry, um, I don't think this is really gonna matter too much. So we can actually probably utilize the fog to flank them. Um, now, I suppose the problem is we can't actually see where they are yet, so... 
let's make... Let's get our sort of main line going here. Spears. And we can build our flanking forces around them. So, so be it. got our spears, we've got our champions. I, th I think we want flank our flanking um, forces to come along here. I'm actually going to leave the swords there. And then we'll have so spears, we'll have... Yes. These guys, we'll put these central scouts over there. They could do some scouting for us. And we'll have Achilles front and center. Let's get him in there. Pro no, you know, not always the best idea for... Um, not always the best idea f to put your lord in front, but this isn't any lord. This is Achilles himself. So let's do that. Okay. So what have we got? Are they going to come to us? Probably not. Um, so that's all right. We can, we can make our way over there. We can get in these trees. Um, and advance up through here, and that will help us avoid the slingers. We'll get the flanking force up over here and into these trees, and we'll get some scouting going with our centaurs. The enemy hold the high ground. To rush in when they have such an advantage is to invite disaster. Okay, so as the advisor has stated, these guys are on a hill, which is going to make it a little bit more difficult for us to fight, because we obviously do not want to fight uphill. But what we can do is we can use these trees to um, not only conceal ourselves, but defend ourselves from um, fire here. Now, I think, I can't remember exactly how many units they have. They've probably got some in these trees here, so we are going to have to be um, a little bit careful about that. Let's have... Do you guys have a ranged? Attack? Ooh, they're moving towards us here. Let's get... Oh, they do. They have a ranged attack. Ah, okay. Here we go. We've got some movement. Uh, let's bring these lads up here. These lads. Actually, we probably want to just leave these here for now. Okay, look at this. So we've really freaked them out. Um, out of their formation. And we can really see all of them now. Uh, hitting these... Ooh, Central Warriors. Central Scouts. Okay, we're going to have to be careful of these Central Warriors. Um, where are you going? You're the the okay, this is good for us. As you As okay. So we want to kite these... Spears around, I think. Okay. Oh, uh, runners have um, ammo as well. That's good. Right, our javelins are going to want to try and flank if they can, but let's just get some fire going on in here. I think uh, we'll bring you around here. Spotted hidden foes. Achilles, smack him. Uh, get out of there. We do not want. Oh wow, I feel a little bit rusty because I haven't been pl I haven't played a football game in a while. But, uh, this is going pretty well. This is going about as well as we could hope. Victory flanked. is close enough to taste. Get in there. Runners, come around. Uh, we've lost sight of those spears. Okay. Get those in here. You shoot in. Actually, we'll get our uh, runners over here to deal with these spears. These centaurs really need to not be doing this. They need to get out of there. Come on. Okay. Right, we'll bring them out here now. Those uh, young spears Your hero is under attack. Hero is under attack, and that is exactly where we want him to be. Fighting the enemy lord here. Oh, yeah. Ha! <laughs> you get smacked. Point. Okay. This is good. We are... Yeah. Right. Don't let them get away. And we've already won. That was easy. So, flanking is very, very strong in this game. We're going to want to be doing a lot of flanking. And we... I... I kind of want to finish off as many of these guys as possible because um, 
Uh, we don't want them consolidating back at their capital. We do not want to fight two armies at once. Achilles, he's a speedy boy. Go smack that lad. Get him. Hades has claimed the enemy. <laughs> what was that? Oh, amazing. There we go. Decisive victory. That was easy. Uh... I was a little bit worried, I'm not going to lie, about the fact that they were on a hill. I don't really know. Probably because I'm not used to playing without a strong front line, but we'll get that built up. Nice, and here you see the rewards. So we got some bronze, we got some food, and we got some experience. Experience? Experience, whatever. Um, I think... We could go, we could sell them to get some stuff, we could kill them to get morale, or we could um, get unit, unit replenishment. That would be quite useful considering we're going to want to be uh, fighting a siege battle. Um, but I don't know if we want to do that yet. Maybe we do. We could just get it over and done with. Though I'm, I don't like to expand super quickly. No, let's go, let's go replenishment. I am unstoppable. Mission successful, defeat the enemy. Cool, so we did our, our little sort of, Proof of my tutorial dream. quest. Defeat an army belonging to the following faction. Uh, and we got some bronze food for that. We've got another one. Most of the troops. Maintain 12 troops in total. Uh, the number of men you command will need to grow in order to meet the challenges ahead. Recruit more combat units to swell the ranks of your armies. Uh, and we'll get some more stuff for that. So. This has a garrison of six, but they also have walls. And we don't have a very strong front line, so I actually think we might want to wait. What we could do is come down here and attack Serenthos. Um, and that would seriously damage their ability to produce troops and dudes. So the problem is, is the AI, from what I found, it might be different in the mod, does cheat a lot in this game. So this might not even really impact them too much. Also, I don't know if I want to control this settlement down here yet. So we'll we'll just wait on it. We'll go back to our capital, replenish, and recruit some dudes. We have uh, a level up for Achilles, and because of the mod, this is one thing the mod does. Um, we get two skill points instead of one, which is kind of fun. So we can choose between frenzy. Uh, so this is for in praise of Ares. Um, or, if you are subscribed to my um, long campaign of uh, video games ideas, um, Kratos. Uh, and Frenzy will reduce his stamina a lot, but will deal extreme weapon damage. So that'll be... Uh, and it'll attack very quickly as well. So that'll be great for just murdering enemy lords. That might be very useful. This will provide rage when activated, and it'll give him extra attack. I kind of like this. I think we just go, we just turn him into a a Lord Sniper, essentially. And we can get a second thing here, so it'll reduce the amount of stamina he loses. And actually, I don't think, yeah, it just reduces the amount of stamina. That's really good. Have we got any equipment for him? No, ooh, uh, Peleus' Spear, plus four charge of all units. Uh, plus seven armor piercing damage to hero. That's good. Um, and then we've got extra food return. Oh, that's not that's nice. That's fun. Um, As it's I think we should do. Ultimate warrior. It's hard and fast. Um, so it does say that the balance of power is in the middle. Maybe that's just because our army's not like super balanced. These guys are a bit of a pushover, though. I just, I'm just, I'm not sure about fighting on walls. We will outnumber them, but I think fighting on walls is a bit of a tough one. Let's just uh, maintain the siege for now, honestly, and see what happens with this guy. If he, if, if, if their uh, other supporting army down here comes up, we can hit him. Uh, we can break the siege in here. Okay. Let's do some construction. What do we want? Um, so we could do it. We do actually have a decent amount of food coming in, but we're definitely going to need more to support our troops. Uh, we could maybe trade for food. Though it's a little bit annoying that this settlement is, we don't, you know, they're not our enemies because we don't really want to attack these guys to claim 
here. Um, okay, let's focus on maybe wood instead for now, because that's what we have available to us. I think we want to go with just this one for now, the loggers tents. Maybe... Oh, no, we can't afford a guardhouse yet. Um, a food warehouse, food per turn, wood per turn for buildings. That's going to be really useful, actually, because those are the two things that we're producing right now. Oh, God, I don't know. Okay, uh... Let's maybe just go with the the wood for now, and then we can build um, more stuff. Let's go with the wood. Screw it. I'm, I'm putting my foot down. I'm making a decision. Boom. There we go. And that's going to be quite expensive. So we could get um, Victoria. Frictoria. That would be quite good, but I don't really know if we need it right now. Let's enact the Royal Decree. So these are, this is research, essentially. Food will be good for growth. Stone is important, wood is important. Everything is important. God, this is so hard to decide. Uh, I think maybe we go for growth. Growth is usually a good direction to As start. It should be. Any notifications? Siege construction available. Construction available. Oh, I don't know if it's worth it. Maybe we just recruit more dudes. Victory. Wow, I know I'm going really back, back and forth on this, but it's so important to make these decisions uh, early on. Okay, let's Retreat. break the siege. Beyond compare. What if we recruit All right, another the general? Bathocles, Automaton. We want someone who's going to be good at sitting in our capital, I think, and just being chill. So what, we're look what I'm looking at here is these little sections because this will explain to us uh, whether their motivation will increase or decrease and if motivation decreases um, they will not just basically not be happy it's kind of self-explanatory motivation after this hero and turn in a province with a high foreign oh okay this is perfect this is the guy we want then so this guy will gain motivation um, after he occupies the settlement and if he ends a turn while garrisoned so that's perfect I'm just gonna Check. Yeah, I think this is the guy we want. Um, so that is going to be 200 upkeep. Uh, it's going to be expensive to get initially, but it's not... We don't have to worry about that too much, because we will get a lot of food next turn anyway. So we're going to check him in there. He'll defend for us, and um, we can recruit some dudes. Let's recruit who we want. Maybe just some like slingers and some spears. Lithium spears, you guys are quite expensive, so we could just go with uh, That's clear enough. spearmen and some slingers. There we go. All right, let's end the turn. Finally, <laughs> a king's decree. Issue a royal decree. So that's basically just to complete a research task, which we will do in three turns. And I have a feeling these have been reduced within the mod as well, which I I hope so because they take so long to get in the main game uh, in the main game, in the vanilla game um, your people are eager to follow your orders, for it is through your wisdom that they will flourish, issue a royal decree and they will be put to work, and uh, that's just some minor little things that we'll get for that so as I thought um, the hero down here has gone into um, his garrison in Serenthos, and that actually has quite a big garrison, so we should probably be a little bit worried. Automadon, his influence has gone up, his motivation has gone up, um, and he will get plus 10 morale because he ended a turn Bring in that I think let's bring him up and see what this will do to the siege uh, result. Turn the ground red. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so... I think it's just because we needed some more ranged dudes and, and, and some more frontline troops. Let's have a look at the map. What are we looking at? Walled settlement, we've got a 360 attack angle. Um, I think... I think we do it. Let's... Let's go absolutely mental. 